What's up everyone? It's your girl Shay here and welcome to my channel if you are new and welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. And as you can see by today's title, I'm talking about more manga, but specifically, what was your first manga buying experience? How did you feel? Where did you go? How old were you? So I decided why not talk about my own experiences? You know, like did you go to a big name bookstore like Barnes and Noble? Did you go to your local comic book shop? And yeah, I just want to know like what was it like for you? So I decided why not talk about my own experiences because I've experienced buying manga at both the big name like chain bookstores as well as like my local comic book shop and the feelings I experienced going to both were both different I guess both of them had different aspects to them but let me get started with this video and the main reason why I decided to do this video is because I want to do something a little bit more lighthearted, considering my last manga topic was a little bit more on the informative side so I decided why not do something a little bit more fun. So what was my first manga buying experience like? Well I can honestly tell you that I was actually older. Yeah that's right I wasn't like in middle school or elementary school or even high school when I first started getting into manga. I would say I was probably college age at least at least that's what I remember. I was I was definitely, I believe, in college when I bought my first ever manga. And that was because that was around the time that I started getting heavily back into anime again and I decided to dabble into manga, which manga for me was just such foreign territory for me. Like I knew about anime and manga was something that I had seen people buy, but I just wasn't for sure about it. For me, mostly my experience when it came to buying my first manga and going to the bookstore to get it was I was anxious, if that makes any sense. I was also very worried. So I remember going to the bookstore with my dad. I actually went into Borders Bookstore, which Borders is actually no longer open. They closed their doors years ago. I think they had filed for bankruptcy and they just weren't making a lot of money. This was around the time that I think a lot of people were buying a lot of books more digitally. So bookstores were kind of at that cusp of where they weren't doing as well as they currently currently are right now. So I remember going into Borders with my dad because we love going to bookstores and I was of course went into the usual section I usually go into which is like the YA section. I'm not gonna lie I love YA books for some very strange reason so I went there to see if there was anything that I was interested in getting. And then of course like always I always saw the manga section and in seeing the manga section I was like why not go over there and I was definitely worried I was anxious the mostly the reason why I felt that way was because manga was something that I knew that my parents did not understand I knew it was something that my dad didn't understand and I was worried about what he was going to say I was worried that he was going to tell me that it was childish and like why was I getting something like that just because of the fact that a lot of people a lot of a lot of people who don't understand anime or manga we've all gone through it they automatically think it's for children and they wonder why someone like ourselves or older are picking something like that up but when we know in reality that yes manga and anime can look like they're for children but in reality there's just so many different genres and stories that some of them are very much very adult or uh, of an older age range. So I was definitely quite nervous, but I decided why not do it anyway. And I went there and got my first one. So the first manga I decided to buy was High School Debut. And I remember searching through the aisles and I had this revelation or had this thing of like, I don't even know where to start. So what I did was I remember going for what genre do I enjoy the most? And that is romance. For some reason, I love romance and comedy and rom-coms. So I went for that first. And I remember seeing like Fruits Basket and a whole bunch of other different mangas like Inuyasha as well. And then my eye spotted high school debut. And I was like, oh, this is an interesting one. And I remember picking it up, reading the back of it and going, this sounds really good and getting the first two volumes and I remember going home with those two and just completely reading them both volumes in like an hour <laughs> and I was just like I want to give more to my dad and he's like I'm not going back to that bookstore <laughs> so I remember remember that completely happening and to be honest with you I remember when my dad saw that I had manga in my hand he was kind of questioning it but it wasn't like I thought it was going to be. So yeah, for me, first manga buying experience at a book, like a big chain bookstore, anxiousness, nervousness, but also just a lot of curiosity, you know, curiosity on what I was going to find and everything else like that. And to be honest, at that point in time too, the manga aisles themselves had maybe a few people in them, but it was nothing like how it is now. I don't know if you guys have gone to like your bookstores lately, but if you go in the manga section, it's completely 
packed. I've never seen manga sections so packed in my life where I'm like saying, excuse me, excuse me, or just having to stand where they're awkwardly where someone's in front of me where I really want to look at, but they're like standing there getting a book and I'm just like, okay, can you grab your book and so I can take a look or something? You know, like, yeah, but that's currently now. Now, when it comes to going to a local comic book shop, I had a kind of a different experience. So for me in my city, not where I currently live, but before, um, there was a local comic book shop and I was always very curious about it to be completely honest with you i had never really stepped into comic book shops but that comic book shop in my town had been around for years i had always seen it i had always walked by it but i'd never really gone inside so once i had started getting into a manga a lot specifically i was really reading a lot of itas that are not kids at the time or trying to collect it and also i was reading a lot of skip beat which as many of you guys know i'm currently rereading so i can catch up to what the current the where the series is currently but anyway I really wanted to you know go in and take a look and I like the fact that it was local it was walking distance for me at the time and it was easy enough for me to get there without having to have my dad drive me to what was now pretty much mostly Barnes and Nobles so I decided to go in and take a look and the nervousness that I had going into that comic book shop was unreal I was also in there with a friend of mine who, one of my best friends actually, we're still friends to this day, and she also had never really been inside of a comic book store. So me and her were both in there together, and I was, like I said, nervous. I was anxious. And the main reason being because I didn't know what to expect. You know, I thought I was going to come across a whole bunch of guys in there who didn't really want me in there i guess because i had always thought of comic book shops as a daunting place i thought they were mostly where you know guys mostly hung out and guys didn't want girls in their domain and since i wasn't the type of girl at the time or kind of even now i would always have people be very questioning on the fact that i was into anime or manga so i was worried that they would think that i basically just didn't belong there that's kind of what my thought process was and that was kind of what i thought but i decided to go in there anyway and it was fun I enjoyed going in there. I knew exactly what I was looking for and I went straight into there and got the manga I wanted and I left. But when I was in there, it was just so much fun to explore in there. It was like nerd Disneyland for me, like manga Disneyland. Like I enjoyed it so much. And so even after that comic book shop had moved like two or three times, I would usually find out where they had moved to and would still go and go into that comic book shop and buy manga from there. Now, I'm not going to lie, I still get kind of nervous more so going into comic book shops. I don't know why. Comic book shops make me a little bit more nervous, I guess, but I still enjoy going in there. But I haven't gone to look any local comic book shops recently just due to what's going on and also because, as many of you guys know, I'm buying a lot more manga digitally. But yeah, that was kind of like my two like manga buying experiences. Both of the experiences took place when I was in college, so I was older. And they were both experiences that I had a lot of fun with thinking back on it. You know, I was nervous at the time, but now I'm kind of like an old pro going into the manga section of my like Barnes and Noble and going into like comic book shops. Not saying I've made new friends inside of comic book shops where they know exactly who I am, but I've gone in there enough times where it feels comforting and I don't feel any nervousness or apprehension going in there. So for those of you guys who haven't gone into like any comic book shops or are worried or, or nervous about buying your first manga or worried or nervous about what your parents will say, just don't be. Just go ahead and go for it and just try explaining to your parents if that's whom is with you when you buy it, why exactly you like it. And if you're going with a friend of yours, take them with you. My friend actually kind of enjoyed it. She actually thought it was kind of fascinating being inside a comic book shop because like I said, it was a comic book shop that both she and I had walked by numerous times and and it was fun to finally be able to take a look and go inside. So, of course, like always, I do pass the question to you guys. Feel free to comment below. What was your comic book or what was your first like manga buying experience? You know, what was it like? Were you nervous? Were you anxious? Were you excited? Were you feeling all the emotions or were you just like, 
meh, like this is just what it is. <laughs> Some of us feel very different things. And let me know if you bought your first manga from like a big name or big chain bookstore. Did you go to like a comic book shop or even like a half price like bookstore? Let me know by commenting, you know, below. So yeah, I look forward to reading those. But yeah, that's what I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Of course, I have links below to all my social media accounts. I have an Instagram, a Twitter, and also I have a TikTok. So yes, feel free to check me out in all of those places. Feel free to, you know, like this video. Like this video if you like manga in general. Like this video if you like shoujo manga. Like this video if you just like going to bookstores, because I know I do. And uh, yeah, of course, please subscribe if you haven't already, because I know a lot of you guys watch my videos but aren't yet subscribed, so please just subscribe as well. And so yeah, that's what I have for you guys. Like I always tell you guys, stay positive, stay nerdy, and in today's day and age, stay healthy, and of course, please stay safe. All right, you guys. Bye.